Good day viewers. In this video, we will demonstrate to you the Bernoulli's principle experiment. Bernoulli's principle describes the relationship between the flow velocity of a fluid and its pressure. An increase in velocity leads to a reduction in pressure in a flowing fluid, and vice versa. The total pressure of the fluid remains constant. Bernoulli's equation is also known as the principle of conservation of energy of the fluid. This experimental unit is used to demonstrate Bernoulli's principle by determining the pressure in a Venturi's nozzle. As you see, this is the Venturi's nozzle. What is Venturi's nozzle? Venturi's effect is the reduction in fluid pressure that results when a fluid flows through a constricted section or choke of a pipe. The Venturi's effect is named after its discoverer, Giovanni Venturi. The Venturi's nozzle is equipped with pressure measuring points to determine the static pressure. The pressures are displayed on the six tube manometers, as you can see in the video. The total pressure is measured by an axially displaced pitot tube, as you can see in the video. This tube can be moved to each manometer location to measure its total pressure. The location or the head of the total pressure is the seventh tube of this set. Now let's begin our experiment. The experiment will consist of three trials. In the beginning of the experiment or the each, each trial, we will do a measurement for the flow. We will measure the flow by this manometer positioned down. We will measure the flow by showing to you a time watch, a stop time watch, and the liter capacity of the tank of the experiment we are using. So you can measure the flow between two points in this manometer as shown in the figure in the video as you can see now the liters are incre increasing and the time also is increasing you can measure the flow between any two points of liters and recording the seconds at that point you need to measure the flow for this trial Now finishing our flow measurement, we will move up to measure the pressure, the static pressure at the 6 manometer located above as you can see. You can use this worksheet located in page 82 in your fluid lab manual, where in this page, in the first two rows you put the water temperature density and quantity of water collected in liters and time and in the lower table 
you put the static head values of each manometer. Now start to take the reading of the manometers one by one. We will start first with this still image and the pitot tube located at the sixth manometer. The pitot tube, remember, it measures the total head. The seventh, the value in the seventh tube manometer measures the total head of the sixth tube. Now let's measure, measure the total pressure of the fifth tube. As you can see, we moved it to the fifth tube. Now let's measure the total pressure of the fourth tube. Again, now let's measure the total pressure of the third tube. Wait for the still image to take the readings. Now the still image will be shown. You can forward to the next one. Now we will measure the total height of the second manometer tube. Also here wait for the still image to record the total height of that tube. Which, be, which will be shown right now. Finally, we will take the reading of the first manometer tube, the total head of the first manometer tube. The still image will be shown right now. Take the reading. And this concludes our first trial.